tête. Trying to get their message clear From the moment my eyes open Until they close at night Somebody's trying to tell me something That they're just playing out some line And it amazes me to know And how they're pulling at my sleeve Dishing up the latest fast trend Telling me what I want and need But I will make my own decision Believe what I believe And when they try to pull me down I just count to ten and breathe I am alive, I do believe I will survive, I will succeed The only path I need to walk's the one that lifts me as it leads me on Don't need to court no image No cookie cutter way I just get tangled in the trappings and I will not be swayed. Won't resign myself to failure or a steady spiral down. You will not be my jailer and I who will not be the clown. I am alive, I do believe. I will survive, I will succeed. The only path I need to walk's the one that lifts me as it leads me on. Every day walked this line until each day was done moving through this web of fog they've got surrounding everyone and when you strip away that curtain and you step out of your fear there's a voice above all others now and it's ringing loud and clear I am alive, I do believe I will survive, I will succeed The only path I need to walk's the one that lifts me as it leads me on I'm alive, I do believe I will survive, I will succeed The only path I need to walk's the one that lifts me Thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome. I'm Terry, this is Beth, and this is Catherine, and Catherine is the boss. <laughs> How many are there out there? I have witnesses. How many? Count. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome, welcome. We're very, very happy to see you. Um, we, uh, it will become quite obvious very quickly that um, we are a family that um, loves to tease each other uh, and, and we love to make music together. And we're so glad that you're here to share it with us today. Um, I love to teach. I come from a family of teachers. My mom taught public school, my dad taught high school, and me, I ended up teaching music. So one day, 
I am at a student's house, and I'm sitting at the piano noodling, waiting for the student to come down for her lesson. And I think I'm writing a song. And Mom calls from the kitchen and says, is that Joni Mitchell? And I went, I don't think so. Kid comes down, we do our lesson, and we're standing at the door chatting before I leave, and the mom says, I'm pretty sure it sounds like something off the hissing of summer lawns. And I didn't know that Joni album, so I ran out and I bought it the very same day. I brought it home, I listened to it. Nothing like what I was doing. <laughs> but in honor of the occasion, I called this song Blue Like Joni. Thank you. So Beth was very fortunate when she was in high school, when she was, I can't believe I just said that. Beth just graduated this year. I can't believe year. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2020, what a year to graduate. Anyway, so, are you okay? What did you? No, no, I did nothing. I Behave, did nothing. No. both of you. Oh my goodness. I'm trying. But Anyways. it's hard. Yes, I know it is. I know it is. <laughs> so Beth was so fortunate to have the a most amazing music teacher through high school. Would you like to talk about Mr. Doucette briefly? Nah. <laughs> uh -huh. I can say happy birthday to him. That's so, true, it's yeah. his birthday today. <laughs> birthday, so we'll we can, dedicate we, this song. Yeah, we'll dedicate this song to we him. Will. Yeah. We um, will. Um, so he took the kids to New York twice? Yes. Twice. He forgot his keys? And No, dear. 
and and they had the opportunity to attend uh, a few are they off Broadway shows or Broadway shows? They were Broadway. They shows, were Broadway yes. shows. Okay, and one of the shows she attended, um, we heard the music for I don't know six months before the trip, almost solid. Well, the main reason is because I was in a vocal class, and like that was uh, way after the first New York trip. So we right. were learning uh, the songs from this musical, Dear Evan Hansen, for our uh, culminating, which would then be like a, a, a school show, basically. But then uh, in grade 11, he, uh, I wasn't planning on going to this New York trip, and he said, well, I guess you're going to miss Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> and that was how he bribed me into it. Uh, and then it was all over. <laughs> yeah, it was all and over. it was all over. It was all over. He knows his work. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> he does. He's very good at what he does. So we'd like to, we'd like to uh, share with you one of, the, uh, one of the songs from that musical. It's called Waving Through a Window. Watch, watch, watching people pass 
This was inspired by her. No uh, pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Just don't mess it up, okay? All right. Okay, okay bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just after Beth was born, um, I was standing in a grocery store shopping line, and as you know, and most of the dads anyway, uh, it was, I guess it was Thanksgiving somewhere, Christmas. or Christmas. It was a turkey involved, and I was standing at the cash doing this, holding a turkey. New dad alert. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. And everybody in line was going, <laughs> uh, As I'm approaching the line, there's a fight kind of ensuing, just bubbling underneath, about to break into something. A, a lady was in a big hurry, and the cashier was talking to a friend of theirs. She took issue with it, so it's kind of, it's, it's, I wouldn't have been there had it not been for you and a turkey. <laughs> and this song would have never happened. And it never would have happened. <laughs> He ain't in no rush, completely oblivious. 
earbuds blasting out so loud with an air guitar turned up real proud he got no voice and he got no style but he got joy that goes for miles smiles abound in before long everybody sings along everybody's got a story right between some kind of heaven or hell everybody's got a story to tell Recognize this one. What key is it, G? Well, we are. In giraffe. G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then there's no need for that. That's a good key. Good, yep. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there. It, it suits what you're doing? Frank's being difficult, excuse me. Frank is being difficult. Well, Frank needs to tune in once he's old, you know. Ah, uh, he is. So, so the guitar that Terry just put down, his name is Frank. And, <laughs> and, and, and the guitar was a gift to Terry when you were graduating from what? I successfully got out of public school. And my parents got it. For, actually, it was the last year of public school. Because I tried to get a couple girlfriends with it, I remember. I, I, it didn't work. It didn't work. Don't worry about it. You Obviously know. not. It, it, by the fireside Sunday morning go for a ride doing the garden digging the weeds who could ask for more will you still feed me will you still feed me when I'm 64 every summer we could rent a cottage in the Isle of Wight if it's not too dear we shall and sing Grandchildren on your knee No, not you Vera, Chuck and Dave Send me a postcard Drop me a line Stating point of view Indicate precisely what you mean to say. You're sincerely wasting away. 
give me your answer Fill in a form, mine forevermore Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64 Thank you. Oh, hey, we're running through the rough. Oh, that was fun. So I love to play this song because of the chorus. We are inundated all the time with news. Yeah. So, um, this, this, this chorus answers to it quite beautifully. Frankly, I would like to start my own news station and talk about the good stuff. Because there's a lot of it out there. so hard to listen hard for me to use my eyes when all around the cold is glistening making sure it keeps me down size and I don't want to know about evil only want to know about love I don't want to know anything about evil planes to tumble, waiting for the towns to fall, waiting for the cities to crumble, waiting till I see them crawl. It's getting hard to listen Hard for us to use our eyes When all around the gold is glistening Making sure it keeps us hypnotized I don't want to know about evil Only want to know about love I don't want to know damn thing about evil Thank you. That's a John Martin tune. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, okay. Uh, 
this is uh, inspired by a book by a fellow named Daniel Quinn. Uh, and I remember for years after I wrote this tune, I was trying to make the whole audience memorize Daniel Quinn, and the book was called Ishmael. Uh, he has five books, hence Quinn, Quint, Q-U-I-N. Uh, and uh, the story is about a man who somehow psychically can communicate with a, a simian, a gorilla. And the gorilla explains to him why things are the way they are. It's, it's a really fascinating read. I recommend it, uh, that you read it. Um, maybe not during the pandemic, because it can bum you out a bit. You might want to wait. Uh, yeah. 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 After you get happy, then you can read it, and it just bring you back down to... Only read it when you can see a rainbow. When, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, only read it when you can see a rainbow. <laughs> Gotta have one positive. <clears throat> so remiss I am sorry and ashamed traded profit for the fair mother's kiss and you paid dearly in exchange I want to heal again to feel you And have you hold me in return And still despite my growing fear I find I'm counted on a birth With a prayer for willing hearts to hear my open letter to the earth Holy Mother, you were born from neglect Can't say I'll ever understand Forgot my promises to care and protect Mother, forgive me if you can. I want to feel again, to touch what's real again, and have you hold me in return. And still. My growing fears I find I'm counting on rebirth With a prayer for will and hearts to hear My open letter to the earth Turn my gaze away from me a gift. I set my paddle to your song. And I stopped listening and I've long been adrift. Though you've been singing all along, I want to hear again to feel you. Have you hold me in return? And still, despite my growing fears, I find I'm counting on a river with a prayer for will and 
hearts to hear my open letter to the Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, yes. I think oh, that no. we'll be dedicating this song to someone in the room, oh, don't yes. you? Oh, well, I, I guess we are. Wonder who that would be. Mm, green mask, glasses. <laughs> wow. An <laughs> attitude. A real an big attitude. attitude. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. he's right there. Oh. <laughs> She's talking about her grandfather, and she's talking about her dad, and, and I'm not being part of this introduction, Howard, so you can talk to him later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're the son-in-law. you got to stay on the good side. <laughs> this is one of Howard's favorite tunes that we've been told, uh, and uh, this was inspired by the first time I was able to travel north of 60, and I played on Baffin Island as a guitar player for a lady named Catherine Arsenault. And we played, I think, three or four engagements uh, in Iqaluit, uh, one was at the high school in the afternoon, and they closed down the show really early because there was a blizzard coming in. Somebody came in and over a bullhorn told everybody to go home now. And of course, I stuck around to pack up, and I opened the door and I got blown across the parking lot. It was really immensely, and the door slammed shut and closed behind me. And I'm pounding on the door, and I got let back in. I got stuck in the gym for the whole four-hour storm before they'd let me out. Story. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten all about this part ah. of it. It was great. But then we played there, and the next place we played was the uh, Lions Club. And then after that, the Legion. And then we, the last place we played was, uh, they called it the Zoo, and it was the, the pub in the Frobisher Inn. And the Frobe Inn is the Inuit bar. And it was the most fun, because they have step dancers and fiddlers like galore up there. And we couldn't get the gig unless we brought a fiddler or an accordion player along. That was the premise. So we brought a fiddler with us. And uh, we watched these guys do their step dancing. And I got to tell you, the step dancing that the people north of 60 learned are the original steps from the Irish whalers who came over in the early 1800s and taught them how to step dance. And people who study traditional step dance moves go to northern Canada to study the Inuit to learn the original steps. How's that for passage of knowledge, eh? <laughs> you come to a tripod show and you get a history lesson. Well, wow, of course. <laughs> this is called Tearing Up the Tundra. One, two, three. Tell you true that the folks up here are few that are brave enough to stay and make a stand. And when our times are slow, oh brother, don't you know it's enough to make you chuck it and go back out on the land. Who in a world goes through the region by the dancing at the Legion? The news goes up the trap line at the speed of light. Shake a leg and comb your hair, everybody will be there. Tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night. Steppers and the kickers come from miles all around From every little hamlet in the region up and down Dancing up the storm beneath the northern lights Nothing could be finer, nothing feels so right It's tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night Tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night Time. And in the center of the crowd, laughing long and laughing loud, there's a disappearing DVD turning on a dime. Peter's in a corner, making eyes and Lorna. She'd be rocking to the rhythm with a squeeze box on her knees. She knows he's about to pop, but the crowd don't let her stop. Screeching and a scratching with a whistle and a wheeze. The steppers and the kickers come from miles all around. From every little hamlet in the region up and down. Dancing up the storm beneath the northern Nothing could be finer, 
nothing feels so right as tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night. Tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night. Well, who could ask for more than wearing out your hammocks on a plywood floor? Or a collar was a day and a thing or two to say. No, you never say too much at all. And I'll admit with resignation, I had been no inspiration. But if the sun will come up soon, it's gonna drive me up the wall. The dogs are getting anxious, we got nothing left to discuss except another 30 days before we see daylight. Don't you wanna, don't you stew? We'll have better things to do. Tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night. Steppers and the kickers come from miles all around From every little hamlet in the region up and down Dancing up a storm beneath the northern lights Nothing could be finer, nothing feels so right It's tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night Tearing up the tundra on a Saturday night Can you spell show off? Yeah. <laughs> and? Uh, so we were, uh, we were so privileged to be able to bring a very special project to this church. Was it last year? It was last year, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Terry and I are involved with uh, a group called the Algonquin Ensemble. And our, our first project, and the reason we all came together in the first place, was to write music about the life of the artist Tom Thompson. So we were, uh, we were, we, we were sort of formulating the idea early on, uh, spoke to a bass player, a good friend of ours in Ottawa named John Gaggy, and sa we said, we'd really like to write for strings. And he says, I know people. <laughs> So uh, he, uh, he put us in touch with uh, just the absolute perfect match. We, we play with a violinist, a violist, and a cellist. John plays double bass, and it's Terry and I, and Beth has guested on occasion as well. So the project is called Sonic Palette, and we premiered it at the McMichael Gallery in Kleinberg back in 2017 because that happened to be the 100th anniversary of Thompson's passing. And so we were invited to participate in, uh, in, in, in their weekend of honoring him. So we're going to play a few songs for you today. This one is called Lamplight, and it was written by Oil Lamp. And I was imagining Tom in his cabin, his studio, working diligently through a cold winter night to produce these magnificent canvases the last winter of his life. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's that time. It's that time. <clears throat> We're going to do one more song before uh, we give you a stretch break. Are we ready for snow? Sorry. Shh, shh. Denial. Denial. You pushed a button you ought not have pushed. Well, what do you do if you get given a lemon, you make lemonade, and that's why they invented tobogganing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's the only sport you can get the extreme adrenaline rush by lying down. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Never thought of it that way. <laughs> when I was small, my... Cousins lived next door to me. I had four cousins next door to me. I have an older brother by six years, so when I was about four, that makes him ten. <laughs> See, I still got it. Wow. And uh, we lived on the shores of Lake Erie down from the Ray property, which was owned by the Volans, but the Rays were there before the Volans, so they call it the Rays Hill, Rays Hill, and then the Volans moved out, and the next people moved in, and then it became Volans Hill. That's how we welcomed people in our neighborhood. And... Uh, one of our family's friends had a pagoda roof on their boathouse, and this is how we destroyed my dad's toboggan. I clearly remember when I was a kid when a winter came calling, the things we all did, the snow forts, the snowballs, the fights that ensued, and no one got hurt bad, and no one got sued. One, two, or three scarves, a toque and hood, three pairs of socks and a big pair of boots. Mix and were pinned to the sleeves of my coat, a 40-pound kitten, 18 pounds of clothes. Such a sting on the ears and the nose. The snow was so deep and the lake always froze. A little too cold and the clothes never fit. But it never much mattered when I was a kid. Our skating was bad. We were useless on skis. Just couldn't seem to stay clear of the trees. But we had the best thrill there was to be found. Because we had the biggest toboggan around. Oh, what's still the best cure for midwinter blues? When I got the choice to make, here's what I choose. Fly through your front gate and pump up your heart rate. Five kids and three dogs, right out of the noggins. That big old toboggan was king. Well, most played at being a sports king or queen. Jean Beliveau or the next Nancy Green. Athletic young heroes all in my neighborhood. But me and my gang wanted Jean Beliveau. Unmotivated was everyone's read. Voted the most likely not to succeed. But we were all fearless and to offer the proof. We launched the toboggan right off of the roof. Oh, what's still the best cure for midwinter blues? When I got the choice to make, here's what I choose. Fly through your front gate and pump up your heart rate. Five kids and three dogs, right out of button noggins. That big old toboggan was king. While the bow split as we hit the lake shore below and sped 90 yards down a steep icy slope. Five racing hearts stuck in five skinny throats, riding a rocket and going for broke. All mid scarves, hats, dogs, kids everywhere. That toboggan was toothpicks raining down from the air. We all shook our heads so 
long one spat out a tooth. Then it was out with the saucers, boys, back up the roof. Oh, what's still the best cure for midwinter blues? When I got the choice to make, here's what I choose. Fly through your front gate and pump up your heart rate. Five kids and three dogs, right out of my noggins, that big old toboggan was king. Five kids and three dogs, right out of our noggins, that big old toboggan still kills. Thank you very much. We will return shortly.